So this is my astral esoteric experience with Fleetwood Mac. Ignore the new accessories. The braces are old, but these rubber bands are new and obnoxious. So I cannot wait to get the whole thing done with. But anyways, point being, um, I was doing an event at a bar. And um, so, you know, there were other people doing other things, crafts and whatnot. Uh, but I was doing readings. So I'm sitting outside by the door. Um, the event organizers had music playing. So it was kind of loud, you know, because we're trying to, you know, get the party started. And one of the songs happened to be Fleetwood Mac. And I am 100% positive that it was Rhiannon, but I might be wrong. It could have been another. I'm just really sure that that's the one it was. Anyways, I'm trying to keep clear throughout the day in case there's any potential clients coming along. And I'm, you know, just kind of staring into space is what it is, basically. So I'm staring at my table, trying to get clear. And all of a sudden, with the song playing, I snapped into another dimension. I was seeing things that I did not understand. And the thing is... If we are aware of something and we know it, it takes us a while to get to that point of complete revelation and understanding. Because if we were to have that now before we've had the journey, it's confusing. And I feel like that's what Fleetwood Mac was basically like what it did to me. It gave me too much too soon. And I was like, okay, I'm not ready for this. But I was telling a friend who happened to be a witch. I'm like, wow, there's something magic about this band. She's like, yeah, Stevie Nicks is a witch. I'm like, what? I never knew this, like, all this time. Well, um, years ago, I was not a fan of Fleetwood Mac. It reminded me of something that I did not want to remember, and I didn't know what it was. And then, you know, as time went on, I softened up to them and really enjoyed them because, because it, same reason, it reminded me of something that I couldn't quite place. Um, and so as I started to have, like, these past life flashbacks, I realized Fleetwood Mac, the music a Fleetwood Mac was a major point of that. Along with the Bee Gees and some other bands that I hear that I'm like, okay, that sounds familiar. Um, I try to gauge like what year a song was because I know in that lifetime it didn't go past 76. So, <laughs> so if the music was before 1976, I'm like, okay, that checks out. But if it's after and I don't remember it from that lifetime, um, then it's like, okay, so I, I do try to test it out here and there. But I think that's what's going on with um, my own personal experience. But also because I think there is something highly esoteric about that band in general. I mean, they're, they're on a whole nother level that my mind was blown, you know, when I, when I heard that. So my own personal past life experience along with a more universal experience of them having some kind of magic in their music. I don't know what it is, but something.